Welcome to another edition of James Jam. I'm Jane. This is my jam. I'm going to do a real quick video for you here. I actually have another video prepared. It is my um, power color video, but it is in a couple different clips and I don't know how to edit that or put it together. Neither does my cameraman. So um, we have to have our son do that one and he hasn't gotten a chance to yet. So that one's coming. So in the meantime, I just want to get another video out before and then I'll, I, um, it's just going to be a short unboxing, unbagging. And then I still want to do the, um, uh, bags that I was influenced to buy. That'll be coming up relatively soon as well. And a couple other things. Oh, and I wanted to, uh, show what I was going to do in my giveaway too. But okay. So many videos to film. Yay. So you said bags you were influenced to buy. Would that be all of your bags? No. Okay. Okay. And um, so I'm very excited, um, though, uh, because I have videos that I want to film, and it's, sometimes it's hard to know like what idea to come up with next, and I have some all set. So anyways, I, this, I'm excited about this because um, before, uh, speaking of being influenced to buy, um, many Minx for All, um, who actually did a tag that I tagged her in, this week so I'm really giddy about that but anyways I found her channel by accident um I don't know how it got put is some recommended to me but it did um and I just I think it had something to do with her liking vans shoes because I love vans and I think that's kind of how she maybe did like what I got for my birthday or something and she's had some stuff about bags in there and I had always loved handbags but I had always thought people that wasted their money on Louis Vuitton and bags like that were crazy. They didn't know what they were doing because why would you spend that kind of money on those bags when Coach made beautiful bags that were so much cheaper? Um, and then the more I watched Minnie, the more I got to learn about the brands and the heritage. And I started looking up my own information on Louis Vuitton and how his um, how he started and uh, Chanel and more and more brands like that. And all of a sudden, before you know it, I have a Chanel and I have some Louis Vuittons and things like that. And then Coach kind of went to the wayside. And then I, um, I didn't want to buy Coach anymore. I felt like Coach was going to Kmart to buy something where, yeah, you could probably buy as many as you wanted of that, but um, they weren't as special as the, these other ones. And I think I felt that way for quite a while. Um, I had bought a couple Coach bags along the way here, and then Autumn Beckman found Portland Leather Goods. And I became a fanatic, like I do about so many of these things. And um, even though the bags weren't expensive, there's just something very special about those bags. There's just something in the craftsmanship that's involved there, the type of leather there is, the rawness of it, the the colors, um, the and the lack of colors. The smell. The smell, yes. The smell is phenomenal. And I learned that somehow it clicked that you can like other bags that aren't to the same level as a luxury and you can love them just as much for just as different as they are, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to put this into words like I want to, but I think I had forgotten how much you can still like any bag because at the end of the day, most of us just love handbags. Um, we don't just love the high end. We love everything along the way and I think I kind of had forgotten about the along the way part so um don't look around <laughs> my husband's looking around like what I don't see what you forgot <laughs> yeah, <that's>, yeah yeah <laughs> he's just, just like okay so um no there are some that are, are okay so anyways I think I just kind of thought like now all I should purchase is luxury. And um, in Portland Leather Goods, um, thank you so much, Autumn Beckman. Um, yeah, re thanks. <laughs> really got me thinking again about how bags can just be special because they are who they are, or what they are. And me and my husband had off this week. 
and we tried to go to Tennessee in May and I hit a deer, totaled our car. Um, yes, thankfully, the deer passed away. Yes, the deer passed. We're all fine, but it was really a, a difficult week for me and we didn't go to Tennessee then. Um, I don't like planning vacations because generally it seems like something bad happens. We were supposed to go to South Dakota this week and I just was not feeling it. My husband wasn't feeling it. Um, so we decided not to go. And um, we had had a lot of plans with our boys and stuff like that, but we didn't have any time to ourselves. And then we just decided to take a road trip down to, it's called Cedarburg. It's near Milwaukee. It's a really cute little town. If you're ever in Wisconsin, Southern Wisconsin, I would highly recommend it. There is a ton to see. It's just one main street with a lot of neat little shops, kind of like Galena, maybe Illinois, but um, smaller, but still a lot of good shops. Really beautiful. They have a free museum. It's it's a really neat place. place. And we came, one of the stores was an Irish store and my husband and all my boys are Irish. I am not Irish. I should be Irish. I was born in March. Green's my favorite color, but no, I'm not Irish. Um, but um, we went into the shop and right away tractor beams <laughs> to some handbags that they had in this shop. And um, surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> and I just I just love them. They were they were similar to shapes I like, but nothing I had ever seen before. And um, then I went over to a table of them, and they had so many different choices. And my husband's like, "You got to get one of those." You did. And um, what was I thinking? And and all I could think of was the first one that I saw when I walked in the door. There's a whole table full of beautiful, beautiful bags, but nope, I, I had to go with my first one. So that's what I'm showing you today. Long story short, too late. Okay, and the bag I got, and again, this is not, doesn't have a dust bag, nothing like that, but I think this is spectacular. I got this bag here. And if you look, it'll say on here, that this is wool from Scotland and it is by a brand called um, the Islanders or Islanders and it's stamped here on the back and um, they were established in 2010 if I understand correctly and um, this is wool made in Scotland and then this is calfskin leather and it's got a nice little texture to it see that there and then it's got you know really nice silver hardware beautiful zipper on the back here um but if you look at the interior look at that pop of flowers on the inside my husband's smiling right now um but so it's got a nice back pocket um let's see it's pretty deep but i don't know that you might be able to get an iphone in there if you don't have a case on it um, or a smaller, older one you could, but oh, that zipper's like butter. And then, um, again, the, the green is all calfskin leather. The, let's see what this says here. Like, I'm going to be able to read it. Um, stop it. Is it hairy tweed hand woven? Um, I can't even read everything it says. Uh, well, it's from Scotland and it's hand... <laughs> hand woven and it's 100% wool on this part here. So this um, this does have a twist lock and you open it up this way. The interior here is also calfskin leather. It was stuffed, which I thought was really nice. And then you have that beautiful floral fabric interior. It's just such a nice surprise, isn't it? To open it up from this dark green to this. Um, and then it has a zipper pocket in the back here. And then inside on the opposite side, there's just a slip pocket. Then there is an additional slip pocket right here in the front. And then it has a leather strap. I'm just gonna open here to see if it's adjustable. I believe it is. Let's just take a look. Yeah, an adjustable green leather um, 
Oh, words are hard. Um, strap. Strap. And it's got just gunmetal hardware here. And um, it's it the, the twist lock is what closes it. These are for looks. And um, now I got to pull the sticker off. And it's just this. I just, I think this is just a gorgeous bag. So I got this here. Um, oh, I don't know the name of this. Let's see. Um, maybe it says Black Watch Medium Sack, the Irish Boutique. And the price on it was $90. And um, I just think it's gorgeous. I, even though the interior looks summery, um, I know I'm going to use this as a winter bag. I can definitely tell that the this is definitely 100% wool on the front because um, I'm allergic to wool. And um, if I touch it like I'm doing right now, it makes my fingers feel funny. I don't know how else to say it. Um, but I think it's gorgeous. And with that little bit of wool, it won't hurt a thing. But is this or is this not like the cutest winter bag you ever saw? So just to give it our Autumn Beckman spin, here's the front the side, the back, the side, the top, and the bottom. And the bottom, yeah. And it just feels, I would say this is a good, I'm going to say three inches, two and a half, three inches here. I would say probably two and a half up here, but plenty spacious for anything I carry. It's, it's very substantial. It's not heavy, but it's probably because of the fabric lining, even though there's calf skin here too. But, um, oh, and it smells good too. Just making sure. Um, but, um, yeah, I just, I love this. I absolutely love this. And it just, again, reinforces the fact that, um, you, everything we get doesn't have to be all of one or another. Um, if we just love handbags, we just love handbags. And, um, I love this bag. This is, this is, this is going to be so cute for winter. Can't you just see this? I have to get a sweater now with this kind of plaid on it. Stop it. And I'll look so cute. I'll be like my sweater and this as I'm sitting here in summertime with no sleeves right now. But yeah, so it's just a quick little reveal. And um, I'm really excited. Um, what? I don't know. that the I, Okay, Islander. Islander is the brand, if you're interested. I, they do sell, I found them online. Um, and I just think this is an awesome bag. So if you haven't checked them out before, I would highly recommend them. I think this bag is awesome. Probably do a, another review at some point of, well, not another of uh, review of at some point, but so far, this is just a really awesome bag. So um, that's what I have for you today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. I have hit 800 subscribers. So excited. When I hit 1,000, we're gonna, I'm going to do a video with the man behind the camera. I'm also doing a giveaway at 1,000. And um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. That's really important. And um, I really appreciate it. But leave comments. I, I love interacting with everybody in the comments. Um, there have been a number of bags, that, like coach bags. I don't always know the name of them and or the colors from Portland and Leather Goods. And I'm telling you, somebody always tells me then in the comments, like the name of the bag or the color of the bags. And I, I, I love it. I love it. I love that there are people online that get me and understand this and understand this. And it just means the world to me. So um, leave comments, please. Um, I try to, well, I believe I answer all the comments and I love doing that. Um, if you haven't already, you can find me on Instagram. I'm at James Jam there as well. It's J-A-M-E underscore S underscore Jam. I'll put the, a link in the description box down below. And, um, until next time, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.